Moving along here in Arkansas, on our way to Eastwind. Gainesville, Missouri, home of hootin' and hollering. We're getting close, very close. Miller's one stop on US 160. If you make it here, you're just 230 racks and a bottle of Evan Williams away from a party at Eastwind. Made to the dirt road. Just two more miles to go at this point. Oh, I'm getting excited. I haven't been here in 11 months. Eastwind community. We have arrived. Oh, baby! Here we go. Yeah, that is definitely... It's nice to see uh, so much more art up here. I think it's mostly Anderson. Oh, okay. So we're starting up north here in the office. And I had to check out the warehouse, of course. This is Siberia. And I just kind of mosey my way on down to the south where the gardens are and all the ag programs. Walking along the path here. Familiar sight. Here's some piggies. How are you doing, little piggy? You, I don't have any food for you, I'm sorry. Piggy. Oh, you want some? You want some food? I don't got no food for you. I'm sorry. Piggy, piggy. <laughs> See the gardens from here? This is the upper garden. Looks like we got some Sudan grass cover crop, some buckwheat. Got some squash plants over there. Oh, we got some sun hemp. Oh, yeah, looks like a succession of cover crops here. Coming on to the compost piles. The old strawberry patch. So here we are in the refurbished food pen. If you've seen any of those older videos, uh, you can see the floor was pretty lacking just a year ago. Got a new floor and New paint. Looks like we got someone making some cheese here. Setup's pretty much the same, same layout. What do we got in here? Smells like some beef broth. Kitty cat. Cat Wayne on a stoop. Kitty cat. Cat Wayne on his new deck. Now we're going down the hill. You can see the ridge over there on the other side of Lick Creek. We're gonna go check out uh, the hoop house in the lower gardens here. You can hear someone playing music in the studio. Might check that out in a bit. Here's the high tunnel. Looks like we don't have a, a mowed path like we had for a bit. Now I see why there wasn't much of a path. This is largely cover crop. You can see some figs here. It looks like this door has been abandoned for the south door. Here's the other side. What do we got going on? Oh yeah, we have more figs on the side, on the south here, but it looks like the whole hoop house is sun hemp cover cropped for the summer, which makes sense because there has been a lack of visitors. We got the dairy barn, kitty cats. Yeah. Hi, kitty cat. Here we have Jackie Brown, 
No, it's not Jackie Brown. That must be Jackie Brown's daughter. There's Josephine. Here we can see the winter squash interplanted with the dent corn that Richard's been breeding on the land for eight years now, eight seasons. And here's the lower garden. Let's see what we've got. Here we are in the lower garden. Got some peppers here. Looks like some okra. Sweet potato. We got the tomatillos and the tomatoes. Richard really loves his watermelon, so there's lots of different varieties. Here we are in the herb garden. You can see the blueberries over there. We're leaving the lower garden and gonna head down to the creek. Check out the swimming hole. Take a little detour. I wanna check out the bee shed that was built a couple years ago with the help of many communards. I wonder if it's getting any use. This path would suggest it's being used for something, at the very least for storage. Oh, someone painted it, that's nice. Oh. Well, the screws are still there. All the equipment is still here. Eastwind B's book is still here. Eastwind B's. Summer's Bebop book. <laughs> Hasn't been much going on in terms of bees, but it's fun when it's there. It's there for you. Got this sweet ass observation hive. Some wasps are living in right now. Here we've got the chickens, and you can see the beef herd back there along the ridge here. This is the road of the loop. You can see these trees that were planted by Richard in that other video. And we're making our way down to the swimming hole. All right, we're coming on to the swimming hole here. Always a couple of kami canoes for people to use. I doubt anyone is down here on such a rainy day. It has been very, very wet and rainy today. It just started to let up and it's about 5.30. And here we are, Lick Creek. You can see a blue heron all the way over there. Maybe you can hear it. Fairly common around here. Very difficult to get a good picture of. Unless you're real quiet and real sneaky. And here at East Wind, get to see some familiar faces, some new faces, meet some new people. Everything seems to be going all right. Some things have changed a little bit. Most things have stayed the same. But uh, super stoked to be out here. Then I walk up to the dining hall. My cubby is still here. He's very hungry. Sumner has returned. <laughs> uh, you know, some fried rice balls. Okay. Going on here. Let's see how they're looking. Is this a full vegan dinner? It is. Or is it, it, is is a, full, is it a mix and match? It is a full vegan dinner. Cool. It's, uh, um, yeah, except for the little pieces of flesh and sweat that I put in. 
Very appetizing. Be sure to put that on the menu. What do we got over here? There's some tofu that will be is about to be fried. It's an action here. What's the theme for tonight? Uh, you know, whatever really came to my mind. Okay. What was in the walk-in and, um, I mean, yeah, so it's seed, so the rice balls, there was some leftover rice, um, that was a little bit more on the softer side, so it's perfect uh, for making rice balls. Um, there was some leftover polenta, oh. Um, that I turned into potato lentil patties. Um, there's some mushrooms uh, and green beans with tomatoes. Um, and then there will also be some white bean hummus um, in there as well. Cool. And some, uh, some, some bread. Nice. <laughs> did, did you bake that bread? I did. Nice. Thanks, JB. Yeah, my pleasure. And the sidekick tonight <laughs> made the tofu. Thank you very much. <laughs> Feed the community. Here we have the backboard. And this is where all the happenings are going on. So we got a proposal to buy a track loader. Got some, we got the business notes, we got the board notes. Got a garden update. Here we are in upstairs RB, upstairs rock bottom. This is where tomatoes will be brought to ripen. Little lax this year as to the aforementioned labor shortage. Thank you, coronavirus. Looks like someone's keeping this place pretty nice. Cleaned up. We got all the board games. Got this beautiful collage from a number of years back. So we're here with Boone up north. How's it going, Boone? Well, what are we looking at? This is Flush Butts, the future's home of Eastwind's very first flush toilet. Oh. And why do we have to build this toilet, Boone? To satisfy the Missouri Health Department. All right, our good friends at the Missouri Health Department. This is going to be the laundry walk-in room. Yes, so it will be two washers, washer, washer, dryer, dryer, and then, uh, yeah, the room will house the toilet itself. A little toilet room. Got the plumbing set up. Big thanks to building maintenance manager Becky and Boone. This project has been quite an undertaking, as you might imagine. Probably can't see anything. But one of my favorite things is that you can see the Milky Way out here because the light pollution is much less. I'm in the lighthouse, which is Eastwind's guest house. It's a very nice little retreat space. As you might guess, the lighthouse gets its name from the very many windows in it. And up top, there's a lot of skylights. Maintenance work was being done on the upper half of the lighthouse, so I stayed in the lower half of the night. It's 3 a.m. I'm heading out after a wonderful afternoon at East Wan. Great to see some smiling faces, some people in good spirits, as always. I will be returning after Thanksgiving and I'll be at Eastwind for at least a month and then possibly quite a bit longer into the winter and I'm going to be dedicating a good amount of that time to putting out some videos so stay tuned